Greatest common factor word problems. Let's suppose that Lindsay has six pink balloons and nine blue balloons. What is the greatest number of matching balloon bouquets she can make? How many of each balloon will be in each bouquet? So the first thing you want to do is look at your balloons and think of what type of groups you can put those in. What you're really finding here is greatest common factor. So let's think about it. The factors of six are one and six, two and three. The factors of 9 are 1 and 9. I'll well, we start with 1 and 9, 1 in itself, and then 3 times 3. So the greatest common factor would be 3. So we can make 3 matching balloon bouquets. Now the next question will be how many of each balloon will be in each bouquet? So if we're going to have 3 matching bouquets, we'll start like this. So we'll have two pink ones in each bouquet. Now I've got nine of these blue balloons, three bouquets, so nine divided by three, that means I can put three blue ones in each bouquet. A bouquet is just a set that you're making together. Usually a bouquet is a present of flowers or balloons. So we will have three bouquets And in each bouquet, we will have three blue balloons and two pink balloons. Let's do the same thing again. Katie has 12 red flowers, four pink flowers, and eight purple flowers. What is the greatest number of matching flower bouquets she can make? How many of each color will be in each bouquet? So this time our numbers are, we have 12 red ones, we have 4 pink ones, and we have 8 purple flowers. So we want to find our greatest common factor of each of these. So our factors of 12 are 1 and 12, 2 times 6, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. Our factors of 4 are 1 and 4 and 2. Factors of 8 are 1 and 8, 2 and 4. This is a good thing to look out for, is look and see if any of the factors go into the others evenly. 4 does, and sure enough, 4 is your greatest common factor. So we know we can make 4 bouquets. Now if we spread these out into 4 bouquets, we'll have 3 red in each one. We'll have one pink in each bouquet, and we'll have two purples to go in each bouquet. So to answer the question, we can make four matching bouquets. That's what we did our greatest common factor. And then we divided. We knew four went into twelve three times, so we'll have three red flowers in each. Four goes into four one time, so we'll have one pink flower in each. And four goes into eight two times, so we'll have two purple flowers in each bouquet. So one of the key words you'll look for is the greatest number of matching, and that's how you know that you're doing um, greatest common factor when you're taking something and breaking it down into equal groups.